Hi my love, welcome back to my channel and welcome if this is your first time watching one of my videos. So in today's video we have an ASOS haul and I actually placed this order because in one of my recent Bershka and ASOS mini hauls I placed an order for a pair of shoes and they were too big for me so I had to get a size down and when I placed that order I actually ended up get, getting a few more bits. So I just want to share with you what I picked up in case you're interested. And the first thing that I picked up is actually this jumper that I'm wearing now. I picked this up on ASOS but the brand is and other stories and I've wanted one of these jumpers for quite a while but just never got around to buying one and I was really intrigued by this color if you watch my videos regularly then you know I'm obsessed with neutral colors I just feel like they're so elegant and they just make you look so put together and posh without having to try too much so I picked it up in this color it came in a bunch of other colors as well they also did a white color black I think blue so yeah they did it in loads of different colors but this is the one that attracted me I love the fact that it's only a high neck and not a turtle neck because I feel like in recent years I've kind of fallen out of love with turtle necks I just don't find them as comfortable so high neck is just perfect for me like I said I really like it however I find the material quite itchy so I'm not going to keep it as much as I like it and I was actually curious to see if other people uh, had the same issue with this jumper so I looked in the comments on ASOS and I saw that no one commented on the fact that it's itchy but for me personally it's itchy and apart from that I think it's a really nice jumper and I would have definitely kept it but even now I can feel that it's itchy so it's not a good thing for me so I don't think I would uh, enjoy wearing this and the other comments that I've actually seen and I know some people who also have this already and I've seen it happen to them is that the material bubbles quite quickly so yeah, I feel like this jumper had great potential, but unfortunately I'm not going to keep it just because it's a bit too itchy for me. I picked it up in an extra small, which I think it's meant to be a size 4 to 6 UK. And it was around £30 in the sale, but these retail for around £35 um, on full price. So yeah, this is the first item that I picked up. And this is actually the reason why I placed the entire order. So I originally picked these up in a UK free, which is my size, but they were too big for me. And these are from the wide fit section because they're out of stock in the regular section. I'm glad to report that size two is actually perfect for me. So I think if you want to get them from the wide fit section, maybe size one down and that would be okay. For me personally, it's fine. And these were super affordable. They're only around 10 pounds and I'm actually going to live in these. I already know that I'm going to live in these when it gets warmer outside. I'm not sure how comfortable they are, I said I will update you guys, um, just wearing them around the house, they felt quite okay, but obviously I haven't worn them for many hours so I wouldn't be able to give you a full feedback, but I just love the look of these and like I said in my previous video as well, they're very Chanel inspired and I feel like these are going to be super super versatile in spring, so I'm really excited to wear these, so I'm definitely keeping these. Next I picked up this pair of Miss Selfridge leather look trousers and these looked so so good on the website. I picked this up from the petite section and just for reference if you've never seen my videos before I mentioned this in every video because I find it really useful when I watch other people's videos and they mention it. So for reference I am 5 foot 2 and I'm a 6 to 8 UK. Sometimes when buying from the petite section I realized I'm more of an 8 rather than a 6. I always leave this information also in the description section down below just so you can refer back to it at any point if you need to. So yeah I saw these on the website and they're this kind of um, leather look pair of trousers, skinny leather look pair of trousers from Miss Selfridge and these were in the petite section so like I said they looked so so good on the website and I was really excited for these to arrive. I picked them up in a eight just because I thought these might come up a bit too small and I'm so glad I picked them up in a size 8 because it, to be honest the size 8 is too small for me so I do need to reorder these in a size 10 because I love them so much. There is so much stretch in these um, and they feel like they're going to be really comfy. Obviously for me not so much at the moment because size 8 is a bit too small and when I took them out of the packaging they looked so small I was really worried they would not fit. Luckily I managed to get them on with a bit of a struggle but I'll definitely say size up in these if you want to get them. I'll put them on so you guys can see what they look like on as well. So this is what these look like on me and like I said size 8 is too small so they were a bit of a struggle to get on but I can just tell based on the material because it has so much stretch in it that if you if I had the right size these would be really comfy they do feel a tiny bit too tight right now but I'm definitely getting a size 10 these are quite affordably priced they're only $25.99 the good thing about this is that they also come up in a regular length so if you're a lot taller than I am then you'll also be able to find this in your size so that's amazing I also forgot to mention that these also come in a burgundy color which look really nice and I actually saw them on the website today as well in a beige color which is just brand new both in the petite section and in the regular section 
foundation. I'll leave a picture on the screen so you can see what the beige ones look like as well. Okay, and next, before I show you guys what I picked up, I feel like I have to provide some sort of justification because this one went terribly wrong. So up until this point, whenever I've tried any track suits or any kind of like casual, you know, like joggers and hoodie kind of outfits or items, um, they've never, ever, ever been too small. Regardless of the size, they've never been too small. So I picked up two things to, well, the first one is this tracksuit that I'm wearing, and I picked out in a size two, UK two. And now, obviously, I'm not a UK size two, we all know that. I'm usually between a six and an eight, especially in petite, because I picked this up from the petite section. So I thought, okay, I've, I've never tried any tracksuit or like things along those lines that have been too small. So let me just get the smaller size that they do because it also came in so many other sizes. So it came in a two and a four and usually when an item comes in a two and a four, then that means it runs quite large. So I was like, let me just get the smallest size that they do, which was a UK two. So obviously they're too small for me. So I just want to show you them. I don't know why or in what frame of mind at all size two would be my size but I'll just show you what they look like regardless. So the first thing I picked up is this tracksuit. I'd say if you want a fitted look, get your regular size or maybe one size down. And then if you want an oversized look, just get one size up. Um, don't do what I did. <laughs> so yeah, this is what it looks like. To be honest, the material is disappointingly, I don't know if you can see, but it's not fleecy one bit. It's a super, super thin kind of material, which I'm not a fan of. It doesn't feel that comfy. I prefer the kind of uh, hoodies and joggers that have that fleece lining underneath because I find them a lot comfier. And the material on them ones is a lot thicker as well. So this material is a bit... Oh. It was on sale though, £20, so I don't think it's too bad, especially if you're getting the top and the bottoms with it. I think the top looks okay for a size 2. I mean, it looks fitted. It doesn't look oversized or anything. But I think the joggers are the problem. They're really, really small. So I'll just step back so you can see what they look like. They kind of cropped on me and they're very fitted. So yeah, um, these are obviously going back and don't make the same mistake I made. I don't know if I'd recommend this to be honest. Like I said, the, the quality, in my opinion, is not all that. So I'm not going to keep it and I'm not going to rebuy it again either. And actually I placed two orders on ASOS and they both went missing. So in one of those orders, they had this really beautiful beige track. So in the petite section, obviously it went out of sale immediately. And then somehow it went back in stock in a size, I think two or four. And I managed to snap it up. And then my order went missing and now it's out of stock. So I couldn't get my hands on it. I'll leave it listed in the description section below or I'll leave it on the screen as well so you guys can see how nice it was i was like that is amazing i really really want it and i've been checking the asos website every single day to see if it comes back in stock and unfortunately it hasn't but i'll leave a link in the description section just in case you're interested in that one as well i think that would make an amazing travel outfit and not only you could wear it you know like wherever and whenever when you want to dress a bit more casually and the next set that i picked up is along the same lines to be fair maybe it's my fault expecting a thick material because i think in the description of the website it does say that it's a lightweight kind of material but i've just never really tried anything that's this kind of material so i wasn't really sure what lightweight actually means so yeah this is the next set that i picked up again i picked up in a size two and i feel like the top part for a size 2, I know it's meant to be quite an oversized fit, but it makes me think that I probably wouldn't need it anything larger than a 4 or a 6 in this one, because I feel like it's a tiny bit more oversized than the previous black one that I showed you. This was super affordable, I think it was around £10, 9 something, so I thought this for the summertime to wear around the house or just for casual walks would be really, really amazing. Um, and it comes with shorts, so this is basically what the shorts look like. And you can tell that this one is too small for me because the shorts are fitted. And these are definitely the kind of shorts that are meant to be a bit more oversized, they are high waisted and they also have an elasticated waistband which is really good because you can make them as big or as small as you want and they feel super comfy on they feel comfy on but like I said the material is not the softest it's quite scratchy on the inside so I don't think I'll pick this up in a bigger size I don't really see the value in it if that makes sense I'd rather buy something else that I'll love a lot more and wear a lot more than this because I feel like I probably will not be reaching for it as much just because I'm not a big big fan of the way it looks but these are the last two items 
items that I picked up from ASOS and this one actually comes as a set so it's technically one item. So that is everything I picked up from ASOS. I really hope you have enjoyed watching this. If you did, as usual, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. It really, really helps me out and it means a lot when you guys comment and interact with everything I post. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in one of my future videos. Until next time, take care and bye for now.